What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. And real quick, I just want to talk about, you know, a little bit about the Alabama, you know, Alabama slammer. <laughs> with the with the with the chair over the top rope. You know what I'm saying? Aqua black man. You know, <laughs> I just want to talk about why I was so happy about the brawl in Alabama, right? And it's not that it's a fight and that I'm happy that it was a fight, you know, and all that stuff. But I'm happy that I'm happy that it was able to demonstrate something in the age of information at which people need to see, right? People need to see that African Americans, we stick together. Look, we talk a lot of shit, right? As Africans, the art of banter, the art of, of, of shooting the dozens, the art of, you know, we just, we, the meme game, first of all, nobody can beat black people in the meme game. We're the funniest people in the world. We're the most expressive people in the world. Black people, it doesn't matter if you're continental Africans or African American, if you look at, if you look at African comedy, right? Look at African comedy and look at African American comedy. We express ourselves the same way, right? Whenever there's something terrible that happens to us, we cope with it by making fun of it, right? And if we are in a competition and we win, we uh we 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 talk a little trash, right? If we are if we lose, we still talk trash, right? That's what we do. We make fun of it in our culture. We play Madden, we break the TVs, we get pissed off, throwing remote control, right? Video games, right? Uh, think about Bud Crawford just beat the crap out of of um uh, Errol Spence, right? Now we know Errol Spence is a great fighter. You know we love Errol Spence, but he lost. So we gotta talk. We gotta we gotta get on him, right? So we do that, right? But you know, thank God the Alabama thing happened because ain't nobody worried about how EJ got beat up, right, by Bud. Because we saw them Alabama, them them red dudes get beat up. All them sunburnt, middle-aged white drunk men who thought, you know, that they could just beat up on a black guy and nothing was going to happen. I, first of all, first of all, I don't even know where where them them guys couldn't have been from there, because you got to be pretty stupid to, to jump beat a bunch of white guys optically to be jumping on a black guy. In a place like that, right? Like you got to be totally unaware of your surroundings or the situation that you're in or the year that you're in or where you're at, like to even do that, right? But that's beside the point. What I wanna talk about is how we got all these different individual factions of black people in America, right? And we always fight about how it is that, you know, you know, because one group believes in this or one group believes in that, that we that we're divided. Right, and white people spend a lot of time dividing us, right? And we also spend a lot of time fighting each other while also fighting everybody else who wants to belittle, belittle us because they want to be close to whiteness. And the weird white people to do that weird thing that we still can't put a name to and they can't mind their own goddamn business and just leave us alone and let us live like we want to live, right? So, but besides that, you know, besides the way visually in the media they try to make it look like we're just this uncultured group of uh mangy africans we're all on welfare food stamps and everybody name is taknisha maknisha Noxima, terrence Pebo. you know what i'm saying black and this and that like like all this the whole dichotomy this picture of when you see black americans you see ghetto disoriented disconnected non-communal individuals but in fact in reality when you take all the western layered propaganda when you take all the pocs who believe all this shit and regurgitate that same western white propaganda and i will tell you forever that white and western mean the same thing that's cold western means white they just can't say white so they say western okay white society white uh, white society that's what it means western anyway i'm just wanted i just wanted us to recognize that the propaganda out there was never going to stop but besides the propaganda in the real world black people we stick together. You ain't gonna jump on one of my brothers don't think I'm gonna jump across the river. All right? When I see my brother toss the hat up, head up, that's the sign. All right? Cool, cool, it's let's go. It doesn't matter how pissed off we are as black people. It don't matter. When we see one of our own in trouble, we jump on it. Cause that's the African way, cause we're communal people. We not gonna let four, five white banana, hey, they been a one-on-one -on -one fight, we done let it go. All right, you let it go, all right? One on two, me two, we'd have watched, recorded. But when we saw three, four, five, we knew what that was. We knew what that was about. 
and we instantly activate it. We got active, and that's what black people do. We've always proven in history in this country to get active, despite what anybody else says about us, despite the advantages that other people have over us, whether they have economic advantage, whether they have a, a police structural advantage over us because they have leverage, because they own the police departments, the very dis the different disciplinary municipalities or whatever, whatever leverage that they have, no matter what, black folks always stand up and we always show out and we always fight, always, always. I don't care what anybody say about African-Americans. I don't care about what any continental, arrogant ass, rich aristocrat ass, freaking, freaking Afropean got to say about an African-American. African-Americans have been nothing but black excellence from the beginning, period. No matter what people do to us, we always stick together and we all, always stand together. Yes, we fight, we fight all the time, but we all, when, it, when the shit hit the road, Black people stick together. We can't help it, that's in our DNA. I don't, I don't listen, it could be a black guy right next to me, we could been fighting since we was in elementary school. We could not get along. We both, he a red skin fan, I'm a cowboy fan. I'm not a cowboy fan though, but I'm just using it for example. You know, he could be, you know, West Coast, and I could be East Coast. We could have all, he could be wearing red, I could be wearing blue. And we could have all the divisions that divide us as black people. We can have all of that, but guess what? When one of those, when one of them folks come over here and want to threaten him or threaten me, he, he that, that, we got it, we, 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 we form Voltron. That's what's up. I don't give a fuck because it doesn't matter how mad I am with my brother. That's still my brother. And when somebody from the outside come in and want to attack your family members, it's time to get active. And that's what we need to start doing. But you know what? We need to start doing this and not just when fighting. Yes, we know we black people, we can fight. We can, we can kick everybody ass. All right. Everybody in the world knows we can kick their ass physically in a fight, all being fair, right? And give us the proper training that we can kick everybody's ass in any type of modern warfare. Everybody knows we are, we warriors. That's just what we've always been. All right, we're the first warriors on this planet. And if it wasn't for our warrior prowess, none, nobody would be here on this planet because we had to survive and we had to beat back many things so that human beings could even flourish on this goddamn planet. So we know what we're doing when it comes to combat, all right? But we need to start doing this economically having each other's back economically. We need to be tossing a head up economically, right? We need to be forming Voltron economically. We need to be jumping in the river for each other economically and socially. Start having some love for each other, right? That was a communal fight. You had the ladies in the back cheering on the men while the men ran over there to protect one of our own. That's how you do it, period. It don't matter. It fuck the consequences. It's whatever, huh? Steel chair off the top rope, it don't matter. What, we deal with the consequences later. It's about your community. It's about how much resolve do you have for your black people? Huh? How much do you actually care? How much do you actually care? What's more important, money or your people? What's more important, you're gonna have to make a decision. Right? And that day, nobody cared. Nobody cared about what was gonna happen. They knew they had to protect their brother and that's what they went and did as a family, as a community, as black people. And then the next day, we gonna meme the shit out of them for the, until next August 5th, we gonna meme the shit out of these dudes like a community, and it's gonna be funny, and we gonna keep laughing. And next August 5th, we probably gonna celebrate the shit. It's gonna be an anniversary, all right? Because it's really an allegory. It's an allegory, it's a new day. It's 2023. This year's almost up, guys. We about to be in 2024. We not playing these games no more. We not afraid of you. Huh? We're not afraid to have opinions and say what we want to say. We're not afraid to take stances and be afraid. We're not afraid of that white man trying to get us fired. We're not afraid of them white people trying to attack us some which way. Because they've been attacking us. They've been fighting us. And they letting us know every day. It doesn't matter if we mind our own business. They're going to come and mind our business. It doesn't matter how nice we are to them. They're going to be mean to us. It doesn't matter how understanding we are of their situation and why they believe the things they believe because they don't care as long as they get what they want, as long as they dominate, as long as they on top. And that's the animal we dealing with. We gotta start trying to turn this grizzly bear into a goddamn teddy bear. It ain't gonna happen, right? History has shown that. History has shown that. But see, we the great elephant. We the great peaceful elephant, all right? We the Bruce Banner. We the peaceful, intelligent, smart Bruce Banner. That's us. But when you piss us off, we turn into the Hulk. The smart Hulk, not the stupid Hulk. We need, we need to be, we need more smart Hulks and less stupid Hulks. 
Cause stupid hawks just get killed. We need smart hawks. We need brain power and strength and community. And you saw that and that's small. And you may think, oh, it's just a small thing. No, there's plenty of people who think they can take advantage of us because they don't think we're gonna stick together. We know we stick together. We know we hold each other accountable. We know the shit we dealing with on a day to day basis. The layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of obstacles putting our way every day. And then these motherfuckers got the nerve to come in our faces after they're able to succeed because somebody gave them a leg up, a leg up, a leg up. They gave us our necks for them to step over. Then they got the nerve to talk down on us and wonder why we're not standing next to them. We don't got time for none of these people. It's just us. It's just us. And that's the type of energy we gotta have. We gotta have that black force energy. Don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with us, we won't fuck with you. Leave us alone, we'll leave you alone. Because all we wanna do is black excellence. All we wanna do is mind our own business. But we guys, us, black people, we gotta be smart enough and intelligent enough to understand when people are doing things to divide us. We are at war. This is World War III. They're trying to divide us on the continent. They're trying to divide us here. They're trying to divide us everywhere because they see what's coming. They know the future is black. The future is African. That's why every fucking facet of society, international, local, state, any any fat business, education-wise, they're under. We are under attack. Do you understand? All we have is each other. Unity is what we need. Fuck it if you don't like your brother over here to your left or your right. Fuck it. It don't matter. We deal with that shit later. Fuck it if we got historical problems. We'll deal with that shit later. But right now, we need to deal with the clear and present danger. And that's them folks. And all them folks that support them folks. All right? So anyway, that's all I wanted to say about it. Hey, that Alabama slammer. Broke chair off the top rope. Bow! Y'all already know. Batman signal. Stay on code. That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something. Teach up my mouth.